वरुणिवे शरमणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनम विचित धर्मनंदनम विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय श्रुपी मॉल माइटी और बिलउड घनश्याम महाराज पाथ में कचो लिब्रेशन पूज्य पाथ गुरु जी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू डिज जय स्वामी नारायण faith faith is such a thing which can only measure when such adverse circumstances happen in one's life without such adverse circumstances or bad times in a life one cannot measure one's faith in bhagwan or in the form of sant how can we measure our own faith in bhagwan or sant but before that let us see inside the scriptures once bhagwan swami narayan he was sitting in the uh, village of loya in india there many santos many devotees they gather in an assembly now after starting the assembly with the kirtans and dhun after completing this uh, this part of the kirtan bhakti finally maharaj uh, himself maharaj says to all of santos and devotees if you have any question then please ask me otherwise i will ask you the question then bhagwadanand swami and sivanand swami they both while folding their hands they pleaded maharaj maharaj we have one question we want to know what are the characteristic of a person who has faith in the form of bhagwan as well as in the form of his ekantik sant coupled with the knowledge of their glory so one has uh this both santo ask two things one the characteristics of a person who has faith in the uh, in the form of bhagwan and also in the form of bhagwan sekantik sant so now this question give us the idea that a devotee should have from faith if he has not this faith in bhagwan and santo then he has to cultivate from faith in the form of bhagwan as well as in the form of sant now what are the characteristics of, for such kind of person and in reply maharaj says what would a person who has faith in god and his sant coupled with the knowledge of their glory not do for the sake of god and his sant then bhagwan said for them he would renounce his family the first thing he would renounce his family meaning he become a sant renounce any fear of public ridicule meaning what will others says if i do bhajan of maharaj if i do worship of bhagwan then what will others says what the people give or uh, give any kind of statements or criticism for me if i worship bhagwan that's the second thing because in india here in us and the other countries they have very good in all the uh, in the nature of all the people that if you worship bhagwan then they have no problem if you doing your job or your duty then the other people they have no at not a single problem with you but in india if you are doing good then most of the people they try to stop you most of the people try to disturb you 
and that is why Bhagwan says here that one who has firm faith in the form of Bhagwan and Santo, coupled with na- coupled with the knowledge of their glorious greatness, then one has no such kind of fear of public criticism. Third one is renounce kingdom. If one is a king, then if he has faith in the form of God and his son, then whether Bhagwan or son says him to renounce his kingdom, his wealth, his property, his all kinds of luxuries and everything, and uh, Bhagwan or son says him to become a son, then he immediately give up everything and become a son. The next is renounce pleasures, renounce wealth, renounce his wife, and in the case of a woman, she will renounce her husband. So this is what the characteristic of a person who has faith in the form of Bhagwan and his son, coupled with knowledge of their glorious greatness. Now, we have to check in our life. If Bhagwan or son says me to do such kind of things like renounce the family, renounce one's wife, renounce the pleasures, renounce wealth, renounce the authority or job one has. Can I do? If we ask our own self, can I do these things? If our answer is yes, then we have a faith in the form of Bhagwan and his son, coupled with knowledge of their glory. Otherwise, we cannot understand Bhagwan's glory. We cannot understand Bhagwan's ekantic son's glory. If we understood, then we definitely perform all these kind of jobs. No doubt this is the toughest job in one's life. Then, Sriji Mara narrated the stories of the following devotees. Mara narrated the stories of devotees and santo who had performed such kind of uh, duties, meaning whenever Bhagwan or Sant says them to do such kind of things, then they have performed many many different kinds of things in their life, in practical life. Because to speak regarding or about the faith in the form of Bhagwan, that's the totally different things. And to perform according or to behave according to those to that words, that's the totally different things. So that is why in the beginning I said whenever such difficult times come into our life then and then we can measure our faith in the form of Bhagwan and Sant. And then Bhagwan narrated the stories of uh, from the life of devotees first Rajput Ghaluji of the village Dadusar, then Kusal Kurbai of Dharampur, Parvadbai, Rajbai, Jiubai, Ladubai, Motarambai. The list is too long. But Gradually, whenever we have a chance, we will narrate one of the devotees' story. Today, we are going to listen about the story of Rajput Galuji of the village Dadusar. Galuji, he was a very, uh, very strong devotee of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. And at that time, even he was living in the village of Dadusar. And as it is written here, Rajput Galuji, meaning Rajput meaning he was a caste, a special caste for uh, most uh, most of the people of this caste. They used to go in uh, military or in a. They mostly their business is to do job in a soldier as a soldier or in an army. So he was very brave. Now. In the village of Dadusar, most of the people lived in the village with the same caste of Rajput. So all the villagers, they were also brave. And as Galuji became a devotee of Bhagwan Swaminarayan, so definitely in our Indian people nature, the uh, another people, they have jealousy. That we are doing bad and why this, peop- this person is going to do good in his life. So we are enjoying the worldly pleasure, he has to enjoy worldly pleasure. 
if we are not doing bhajan we are not worshiping bhagwan he has not uh, worshiping bhagwan so this is our indian mentality and nature so in the same way galuji had also problem with the other villagers why because he was a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and others they always try to make some problem or difficulties in his path of devotion towards bhagwan but galuji didn't say any single word to them because bhagwan gave him command not to speak any single word for for the others bhagwan says him to tolerate whatever insult or whatever pain or whatever disturbance given by the others if you tolerate if you suffer from this kind of disturbance then your devotion become firm your faith in the form of bhagwan become firm in this way galuji live in the village very peacefully because he has nothing to do with the other people he just doing his job and he as he has he had no father meaning his father was gone uh, he had only his mother in his home and in the home he and his mother these two person only lived now once bhagwan swaminar was uh, some un, in another village and from there bhagwan sent one of his devotee to dadusar with the letter the special letter for galuji now that devotee reached there in dadusar and gave the letter to galuji galuji opened the letter he read it and in the letter bhagwan swamin and rat that at the same time as you got this letter gather all of your stuff meaning all of your furniture your uh prop uh, your wealth and everything whatever inside your house collect all of, all of those things and immediately leave that village and come to me to meet now according to bhagwan swaminarayan's command now suppose we think in our life we have to put ourselves in the place of galuji if bhagwan or sant can give such kind of command to us then what we are doing or what we will do at the at the time uh that was the time of dinner and galuji's mother she had prepare even a dish on a dining table for galuji and before eating galuji read this letter and without eating anything galuji collected all of his stuff from the, his house and put all in the cart and he departed he said to his mother this is message for me of bhagwan so i have to go and he departed now in the home only galuji's mother we know at the time that is uh, there was no electricity and so people used uh, oil lamp in a house as a light so in a house there was uh, two oil uh, two oil lamps there was lit here by his uh, galuji's mother and so some light was there and after galuji's departure his mother she was sleeping on a bed nothing in a, nothing in a home no any furniture no clothes no grains nothing because according to bhagwan's letter galuji perform what bhagwan says he emptied totally totally emptied his home now at that at night what happened those the other villagers they they were gathered there were 200 soldiers and they decided to kill galuji at night and a uh, destroy his home so they cordon the cover uh, galuji's home from outside so that galuji cannot run away and 
some soldiers, they enter the home. So they search for, uh, they search out for Galuji. But when they enter the home, they f uh, find out nothing in the home. There were only walls. Not a single furniture, no clothes, no grains, nothing. Then they found Galuji's mother laying on a bed. They asked her, where is Galuji? And why your home is totally empty? Then she narrated, Galuji is Bhagwan Swaminarayan. He sent a letter for him today evening. And in the letter, Bhagwan wrote that at the same time you got this letter, collect all of your house stuff, meaning clothes, grain, everything, and put them all in cart and come to me. So according to Bhagwan's command, Galuji immediately without even eating, even the meal was ready still without eating, he immediately go with all of this stuff to Maharaj. Then all of those villagers, the, the soldiers who came to kill Galuji, they got a surprise and they even asked for forgiveness to Galuji's mother that we came here today for killing Galuji and we want to destroy this home totally. But now we understand that Galuji's Bhagwan is true because without, we never say our plan to anyone and how Galuji's Bhagwan knew about our plan to kill Galuji because he is Bhagwan and that is why he saved Galuji's life. Now from today we also want to become Bhagwan Swaminarayan's devotee whenever Galuji came back to home. Please ask forgiveness on behalf of us. Please we, we are very really sorry. We should not do this kind of job but we are misguided and that's why. In this way they ask for forgiveness and in this way, Bhagavan Swaminarayan saved life of Galuji. But only when Galuji followed Bhagavan's command, what Bhagavan says, he did immediately. And that's why he also can be able to save his life. Otherwise, if we put our own self on a place of Galuji, then what we will do? We read the letter, and after reading the letter, we decided, okay, it's okay, uh, I have to do what Mara says, but uh, this is the time of dinner, so Bhagwan was very far from this place, so it will take some more time to reach there, so let me eat something. So in this way, we first took dinner, and after completing dinner, we also say, uh, decide, we also think in our mind, as Maharaj says, to come that place. So that was very far and this is a night, so it is not good to go or travel at night time. So let me sleep and in early morning, I'll depart. So this is our mentality, this is our thinking and that is why we have not the complete firm faith in the form of Bhagwan and his son. But Galuji, without thinking anything, without thinking for any other option, any other alternative, he immediately took what Bhagwan says. And that is why Bhagwan saved his life. Now in another time, after this incident, after many years passed, once, according to old age, Galuji's mother, she fell ill. And at the same time, Bhagwan Swaminarayan along with many many santos and devotees vis uh, visited the village of Dadusar. As a week before, at the time no phone, no any other communication system and that is why before a week, Galuji 
got news that Bhagwan, along with santos and devotees, come to my village. And even they spend one night in the village. So now Kaluji become excited because he wanted to serve Bhagwan and Santo. Because he understood f- full glory of Bhagwan and Santo and devotees. So he thought in his mind that now this is a chance to serve Bhagwan and Santo. To please Bhagwan and Santo. This is a chance. This is an opportunity. I have to grasp it. I have to take it. And in this way, he prepared all, everything. He worked hard day and night for preparing, for decorating the village, decorate, uh, cleaning the, uh, cleans the road and walkway of the village. Even he cleans his own home for accommodation for Maharaj and Santo. He even prepared all the groceries for making good meal for Maharaj, Santo and devotees. He even sent order to the Brahmins to come on uh, come to that day for cooking for Santo and devotees. So in this way, he made all the preparations. Now, the next day, the day was come. And the next day, Maharaj, along with devotees and son, uh, Santo, Bhagwan would come to his village. So now, before that day at evening time, Galuji again check all of his preparations, whether anything remained unattend- unattentive or not. He check everything. Everything is good. Everything is complete. Now, at night, he, he was sleeping because in early morning, he has to wake up. But in early morning, when he wake up and he called his mother, his mother was very sick. And when he checked his pulse, uh, when Galuji checked his mother's pulse, then he found she was gone. So Kaluji's mother passed away. And after two or three hours, Bhagwan and Santo and devotees come to his village. Now what to do? He had decided to play all musical instruments in a band for the, uh, for the welcoming Maharaj and Santo and devotees. He had prepared a good meal for Santo and devotees. Now what to do? Because in India at the time, there was a tradition, even today's, there is a tradition. Whenever one passed away, one cannot make a good meal in the home. Not only that, but one cannot, in the whole town or village, one cannot play a musical instrument loudly, or one cannot do such kind of auspicious occasion. So, what to do? Then Galuji decided, if I declare the death of my mother to other people in the village, so the other people, they definitely stop to play musical instrument to welcoming Maharaj. They even stop to make a delicious food for Maharaj and Santu and devotees. And they even force me to perform the final ritual, meaning Agni Sanskar and the other ceremonies for my mother. So now what to do? Again, he thought that Maharaj only comes very few times in two or three years in my village. So this is a chance to serve Maharaj and Santo. So this is opportunity for me. Now what to do? Finally, Galuji decided without any delay, he put his mother's dead body in one piece of cloth, meaning like a bed seat, and he make a bundle and he hang this dead body, this bundle of dead body, uh, hang 
one of the peel, uh, one of the beam of his house. Now, and after this incident, he took a shower and completing his daily work, and without say without saying any single word regarding this, what was happening to his mother, to anyone, he decided to welcome Maharaj in the same way as he had decided and as he had arranged everything. Now, first, he, uh, he was thinking in his mind, now my mother was gone and that is why Maharaj and Santo cannot leave, cannot uh, come to my home. If they come, they have to take a bath. And now what to do? Then he uh, decided the one another idea. Immediately, Galuji went to meet his one another friend in the village, and that was a merchant. Galuji explained him the glory and greatness of Bhagwan and Santo, and finally Galuji said. There was very few persons who get a chance to serve Bhagwan and Santo. Then if you are happy to give accommodation to Bhagwan and Santo in your house, that's very good for you. Then his friend, he become ready to uh, for staying Maharaj and Santo in his home. So now the uh, the pro uh, question or problem of accommodation for Maharaj and Santo that solved. For meal, he had already uh, gathered all the stuffs, meaning all the groceries, and he even gave uh, an order to the Brahmins to make to cook a good meal. So they have started. So he has no chance. Now Galuji's uh, the another problem is that if. Galuji performed seva of Maharaj and Santo, but he had to do without touching any single person because his mother was passed away and that is why he remained impure, meaning he cannot perform any rel uh, religious activities during some period of time for some days or a month and that is why he decided it's okay. I'll not touch any single person, not Bhagwan, not Santo, not devotee. And he along with all of the other villagers come out outside the village and waiting for Maharaj and Santo. Now Maharaj and Santo come, they play musical instrument and while dancing they welcoming Maharaj and Santo to his village. After this, even Galuji performed all kinds of seva of Maharaj and Santo and devotees, but without, without touching any single person. If the seva is such kind of that one has to touch, then he sent the another devotee for that seva. In this way, Galuji arranged and enjoy and celebrate this day of Maharaj coming in the village. After eating santos and devotees and Maharaj even stay night in the uh, in the village and finally the next day in the morning Maharaj declared we have to go for Vartal. Then Maharaj called Galuji near Galuji, we have to go to Vartal and that's why we have to depart right now. Whenever we will come next time, we will stay more days here in the village. Then Galuji, while folding his hands, he said, It's okay, Maharaj, whatever you wish. And in this way, Galuji again called all of his men, meaning all of the devotees of the village, and while playing all musical instruments while dancing. Galuji and the other devotees of the village, they gave a uh, send of very worthy send off to Maharaj and Santo and devotees. Now uh, they proceed towards uh, outskirts of the village. There 
Maharaj stopped for final moment and Maharaj called near Galuji because the whole day Galuji didn't touch Maharaj or Santo and because of he could not perform such kind of seva of Maharaj and Santo so Galuji had some pain in his heart that because of my mother's death I cannot touch Maharaj and Santo and because of that if any kind of mistakes or any kind of uh, any kind of problem arise in the service please uh, in in his mind he was pleading Maharaj please Maharaj forgive me if anything remain in your service then Maharaj call him near then Galuji go near to Maharaj but but he stood there without touching Maharaj Maharaj was on his monkey so Maharaj dis dismounted from the monkey and Maharaj embraced Galuji Ga Galuji he stepped back when Maharaj tried to embrace him then Galuji stepped back and he said no no Maharaj no I am impure then Maharaj said no you are my true devotee and there is no one pure there is uh, there is no one as pure as you and in this way Maharaj embraced Galuji and become very pleased upon him and finally Maharaj said go back to your home and perform the final ritual the after death ritual of your mother in this way Galuji performed this kind of job even his own mother passed away still without fear of public ridicule or without a fear of public criticism regarding this happening he gave a chance to service to other devotees and he also himself took a chance and opportunity of service of Maharaj and Santo and devotees and please and get the pleasure of Maharaj and Santo in this way even Maharaj uh, the tears come out of Maharaj's eyes that how much this devotee can do for me and Maharaj become very pleased upon that devotee and finally in Loya Maharaj in the Vachnamrut he himself narrated this story to the devotee the many other devotees remain we will narrate their stories what they have performed for Maharaj and Santo whenever we have time we will continue the stories of such kind of devotees who has formed faith in the form of Bhagwan and Sant coupled with the knowledge of their glory so today finally let we pray to Maharaj Maharaj just as these devotees they have complete or unflinching faith in the form of you and your Santo so that they can do everything for you and Santo grace us with the same kind of faith so that we also can do the same for you and your Santo Sri Ganeshyam Maharaj Nijay Sri Patim Sri Dharam Sarvadeveshwaram Bhakti Dharam Atmajam Vasudevam Hari Madhavam Keshavam Kamadam Karanam Swamina Rayanam Nilakantham Baje Sri Ganeshyam Maharaj Nijay Odhe Prabhu Sakad Muni Kesham Swami Narayan Divya Murati Swami Narayan Divya Murati Santan Ke Vishram Hare Prabhu Santan Ke Vishram Podhe Prabhu Sakal Muni Kesham Akshar Par Anand Ghan Prabhu Kiyo He Bhu Par Tham Jehi Milat Jan Tarat Maya Jehi Milat Jan Tarat Maya Lahat Akshar Dham Hare Prabhu Lahat Akshar Dham Odhe Prabhu Sakad Muni Kesham Sharad Shesh Mahesh Mahamuni Japat Jehi Gunanam 
जाश पदर जशीश धरी धरी जाश शीश धरी धरी होवत जन निष्काम हरे प्रभु होवत जन निष्काम पोढ़े प्रभु सकड मुनि के श्याम प्रेम के पर यंक पर प्रभु करत सुख आराम मुक्तानंद निज चरण ढी गुण मुक्तानंद निज चरण ढी गुण गावत ठो जाम हरे गुण गावत आठो जाम पोढ़े प्रभु सकड मुनि के श्याम स्वामी नारायण दिव्य मूर्ति स्वामी नारायण दिव्य मूर्ति संतन के विश्राम हरे प्रभु संतन के विश्राम पोढ़े प्रभु सकड मुनि के श्याम पोढ़ो पोढ़ो सहजानंद स्वामी अखिया मानिंद राभरानी रे पोढ़ो पोढ़ो सहजानंद स्वामी हरे तमे माथे थी पाघ उतारो रे पची फूल डानी टोपी रे पोढ़ो पोढ़ो सहजानंद स्वामी हरे तमे जर कसी जाम उतारो रे पची कोरी धोती धारो रे पोढ़ो पोढ़ो सजानंद स्वामी हरे तमे केड़नो पट को छोड़ो रे पची फूलनी पछेड़ी ओढ़ो रे पोढ़ो पोढ़ो सजानंद स्वामी हरे पोढ़ा प्रेमानंद ना स्वामी रे सखी जोई जोई आनंद पामी रे पोढ़ो पोढ़ो सजानंद स्वामी अखिया मानिंद राभरानी रे पोढ़ो पोढ़ो सजानंद स्वामी श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय श्री हरि कृष्ण महाराज नी जय श्री स्वामी नारायण भगवान नी जय
Yeah.